Hello and welcome to the lighthouse. I am Shine. And we have here a spread. I hope the hear that? Sweet. Um it's wood. Um what was I gonna say? Oh, I have music on in the background. And I have it low. But this microphone picks up quite well. So if the music seems to a lot <laughs> as we got as we got a, a truck backing up. Let me tell you the dude was hammering earlier. He better the lady who lives next door to him, she was like she came out yesterday, she goes she goes, What are you doing? You're making not too much noise every and he's like telling him, saying, oh, he was, wants people to come by and fix the strip, and they haven't come by. And she's like, well, stop the banging, because... I said, well, at least somebody said something. But he was at it again earlier. But hopefully he won't be doing it. And now that the truck is gone. Um, so now, but now I lost all oh, the music. Let me know if this is a good volume. It's only on number five on the TV, so it's not it's not loud, but like I said, it gets picked up. And now I've talked about other things and digressed. Um so this is my this is the success spread. Um five questions. Uh sorry I had a something on my face. Um this is a central issue here, right, for, for a lot of people. And I asked what's the advice for this. And then to clear up this card, I wanted to ask a question and I figured out what it was for. This is the current challenge or obstacle here. These are the underlying hidden factors that we need to be aware of. These are the people, the new ideas, or things that can help. And I also kind of clarified some of this with these here because I wanted to specify, you know, what we're we talking about. Because again, I deal with the self, our relationship with ourself, but of course, it always spills out into our relationships with others. And also, our relationship with ourselves is affected by or has been affected by relationships with others. So it's kind of, it's always going to kind of be in there um, when, when talking about other people. Other people that are involved in one's dramas. So those are, that's, that's, the, that's the thing. So I'm going to save that because that is the advice for this. And I also said, I was like, you know, as I've said before on my channel, I, you know, I, I watch other people's channels grow in popularity and they gave quick readings, drive through tarot. They barely scratch the surface of what they kind of tell you what's going on. It's like, well, I already know what's going on. I'm looking for guidance. I'm looking for answers. I'm looking for, you know what I mean? But may, the, with my readings, I always went in deep. I always gave the whole thing. So maybe that was my, my, my fault. You know, why buy the cow when you get the milk for free? You know, maybe they do it right and I do it wrong because I'm giving too much. <laughs> Um, and they just give like a, a, a teaser and, they, and you know, if you want to know more, you got to pay for it. Um, but I, like I said, I watch other people, you know, because they, a lot of people tell people what they want to hear. And it's always talking about relationship stuff. Or again, are we talking about the ones that do celebrity readings and channeling dead people and all, which is again, you know, that's a whole nother video. Um. But I'm, you know, mo most people, again, always want to think it's outside of them. You know, I deal with you, helping to heal you, or for you to help heal yourself, to see, again, big, bigger pictures. And that kind of makes people not popular, because I tell you what you need to hear, not what you want to hear. 
So again, most people don't want to do this kind of work um, on themselves. They want to just be on the surface or something. Um, but people that have been with me know that I'm 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 true. I'm not gonna blow smoke up your ass. I'm not gonna tell you you know what you want to hear, because this journey is about your healing and your growth and your evolution. So you may not always like what's being said here, but it is for your benefit. It's not obviously for mine because, like I said, it does doesn't make one popular <laughs> when they're the bearer of you know. Bad news, but we always try to you know, wrap it up with a nice bow. <laughs> you know, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so the first question here is the central issue. Oh my God, dude, what are you doing? Perhaps we need to reevaluate our choices, thoughts, and behaviors, etc. So whatever you got going on in your life, we're needing to evaluate some stuff obviously, whether that's, again, our relationship with ourself, our relationships with other peoples, uh, our belief systems, our, you know, start, start questioning things that might not be so, so great at the moment. And, and see where in we could make some adjustments, changes, have different perspectives. Um, you know, always, too, they always talk about to this forgiveness shit. And it says a lot of people want to hold on to that. Like I said, you are not alone, dear. <laughs> Depending on the transgression, forgiveness isn't always easy to do. And sometimes it might take your whole life to finally come to peace with something and let it go. But again, it, it, it's, it's the effort that counts, you know, because, because again, it's, it's for you and it's for other people, but mostly for you because it again, it allows for that negative energy to be released so that healing can happen and and so that it's a clean slate or you know you can move don't, don't, don't start don't start with the drilling or the whatever the hell these people are doing out there <laughs> always something um, so again it could be family relationships friendships personal uh, you know love stuff, or again, it's just with ourselves. Figuring out what, what it is that we need to look at and reevaluate. And then we have here, there may be some underlying psychological issues to be aware of. This could be in the forms of chronic depression, anxiety, etc., of some kind of childhood wounding that now has an effect on the adult in different areas of their life. A personality disorder may also be playing a role. If you get uh-oh, planet narco as well in the reading, then this may be another hint as to what may be involved. Seeking out a professional therapist is recommended for further clarification and assistance if you are dealing with this type of person or if it is you who is displaying these behaviors. So again, a lot of people have been stuck in the woes, in, 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 in the deep, you know? And it's cause, uh, I'm thinking in another reading that we had the other day, it says it, it, it can have effects on the physical body, mental, physical, emotional, spiritual, you know. When, when you've been through it, you can develop chronic depression. You can have anxiety problems. Again, this could be stuff that you've suffered with your whole life due to, again, childhood wounding. You know, again, you could have been one of the people dealing with narcissists. Again, this is all stemming from... Childhood or nature and nurture for them, for them, not for the people who are on the more codependent side. Um, you know, that you have more of the potential to be healed. But again, that's a whole other thing. We're not going to get into narcissists and all that right now. This is about 
again, we're, we're needing to look at where in our life are we not happy? What's causing us stress? What's causing us, you know, causing us to stay stuck, stay angry, stay resentful, stay unoptimistic, stay lacking faith, whatever it is, right? We're needing to take a look at where that is coming from and why are we still holding on to that and where can we shift that perspective to see things as lessons, stepping stones, and not permanent places to be in. Because, again, it's, it's only holding you back from better things or new things. Then we have here, they're not in love with. Pursue other options and forget about this one. Now again, for some it was holding on to people who were again, could have been narcissists, could have been those people that we need to let go of, that we've been clinging on to, it's been keeping us in a rut and depressed and, and, and not moving forward. Um, which is again, you're shortchanging yourself. Maybe we need to forget about that. Or it could be just grudges you're holding, um, resentments you're holding. Things, again, that we, you, you need to let go of. And, and, and I'll say forget about, you know, but, you know, some of you might be feeling unloved. Like I said, this could be dealing with family stuff, friend stuff, you know. Maybe you feel unloved by somebody and you're trying to forget about them. You know, you're not talking to people. It says it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be personal relationships only. But, but something needs to be looked at here. That clear communication card came up before. Again, speaking our truths. Whatever's have, laying on your, your heart and mind, it needs to be said to whoever it needs to be said to. Peace needs to, conclusions need to be had here in whatever it is that we are, whatever area it is that we're, we're not flourishing or if things are dead, or you'll know. So this is general, so it could be a multitude of things. It could be a combination of things. You know? The whole smorgasbord. Time to clean house. Clean it up, clear it out, let go of what no longer serves you. Don't let negative thoughts, emotions, people, or situations clutter your life and weigh you down. It's time to build yourself up, speak your truth. Cut your losses. Keep it moving. Onward and upward. Whatever's got to go, let it. And you already know the answer. Just like the Wizard of Oz, right? When Glinda the Good Witch said to Dorothy, you had the power within you all along. You know? You just had to realize it. And that's where a lot of us fall short. We don't realize our own worth, our own value, our own potential. And we allow other people or situations to dictate how we feel about ourselves. You know, challenges that we face in life, failures that we face. Maybe you're not where you want to be in your career or at this point in your life. And you feel like your whole life you're going to, you know, whatever it is. That stuff is, it's, it's a heavy cross to bear. And a lot of it is just based on, again, what we've been conditioned to believe is success or value or beauty or whatever it is. It's what society has deemed that this is what this looks like. So when we don't have this, whatever that is, you feel less than. You feel, and it's, it's, you're plagued with this through, you know, again, usually... Illusions, lies, falsehoods, anyway. 
these belief systems that we develop in life. A lot of it is, is again, conditions through TV, movies, music, media, family, friends, what have you. And it says, don't follow the crowd because they're lost. And a lot of things are pushing agendas. Things meaning like, you know, on the grander scale, media, government, religion. We're not going to get into all that. But, you know, I have another saying that was said to me by my, one of my teachers when I started to discover things that were disappointing. You know, when the disillusionments start to happen, when you're on, on the path and you start realizing the certain things you once believed in or that you thought were good or, you know, with belief systems... It's actually going to be dangerous things because you wrap your whole identity around them. And when things start to be discovered as lies or untruths, it can be a heavy thing to accept. That's for your betterment, of course, but it can become uh, depressing, to say the least. Like I said, just being in this world can be depressing because the more you know, the harder it is for you to exist here because everything is based in bullshit. Which is what I was getting to as far as the saying goes. The person told me, he says, may you find the truth that you're seeking within yourself. Because it lies nowhere else that isn't a scam, a hoax, or a lie. So, you know, I used to say, I remember when I found out that Disney was full of all kinds of bad things. And they say, oh, that's nothing. This says, wait till you find out <laughs> <laughs> Which is true, but it says, but it's just the things that we believe, again, that we wrap our whole, it, it can be hard, hard to look at or accept, but the, at the end of the day, like it says, it's, it's what you believe about yourself at the end of the day reflects outward in your world and your relationships, and, and we're needing to, again, Break away those belief systems that were built on faulty foundations. You know, the, the tower. I think we had something that was similar that came out. Um, and it says, we're living and learning. And it says, that, and, and the wisest, wisest man know, knows himself above all. Because once you know yourself, you can catch yourself in these patterns of ways of thinking or being or attracting or whatever it is that's keeping you in the karma, in the loop, in the shite, as they say. So that's that. The underlying hidden factors that you need to be aware of. We have the Empress. We have the Five of Pentacles. We got the Page of Pentacles. And we get the Knight of Pentacles. So like I says, some of you might be mothers. Some of you, you know, might have issues going on with children. Or you might be the child and some other, you know, it could be family stuff. People not speaking. People being feeling left out in the cold. People feeling spiritually lacking. Because they're unable to manifest anything. They're not getting any offers. Shit's taking too long. Or some things aren't coming in. Or, you know. The Empress, of course. is It could be man, woman, doesn't matter. The Empress is, a, Empress. <laughs> Empress is about abundance. Um, fertility. Again, it's the Earth Mother. It's about creativity, harmony, beauty, grace. It's the mystical realm connection, the angels and the fairies. It's a deep emotional connection with earth and life, nature and abundance. Again, what seeds are we planting? What steps are we taking? What investments are we making within ourselves to get out of this feeling, right? to be creating abundance, to be birthing new ideas, new projects, new relationships, right? New ways of being, 
growth and development, nurturing, again, caring, supporting, good fortune, blessings, being worthy of receiving, again, knowing that we're worthy, getting out of negative mindsets, letting go of, again, the people who don't love you, and the people that do love you, not shutting them out, not, you know, again, healing, healing the relationships that, that we need to heal, and let go of the ones that we need to let go of, right? Um, people that have been here, they know. I have little notes here because there are so many things I could touch on that I try to give a little something for everybody. So I try to include the various meanings of the cards plus my own intuition. What I may be feeling is, is, is going on here. But the, you know, you never know who's watching and you never know what thing might hit. So it's not that I don't know the meanings of the cards, but I can't always think of things that maybe I should. <laughs> For somebody else who might need to hear it. Um, so just in case people are wondering what I'm what I do with these. Um, again, creative blocks in, in, in the reverse. This is if we're not feeling that we're, you know, in this energy of prosperity and abundance and nurturing. Um, feeling challenged, bottled up. Codependent on others' feelings to take actions. Again, lack of self-esteem. Feeling disconnected, depressed, negative, unwanted. Remember I said that before? They don't love me. You know, if, you know maybe, maybe people that you think don't care about you really do. You know, especially if we're dealing with family, friends situations. Um, lack of harmony within. Again, feeling left out in the cold. Feeling spiritually lacking, financially lacking. Because yeah, everybody's going through it right now. And, and some people have been going through it even prior to whatever happened in 2020 as far as with a lot of stuff. Um, again, loss of personal power. And this is where it all stems from. you got to be okay on your own. you got you got to be, because at the end of the day, you're all you got in truth. So, um, I said, because not everybody has people that are, you know, some people are completely alone. And that's, that's, that's even more so where you got to really, you got to be the one to pull yourself up. Because if not, you're going to end up, they're going to find you in, in a room like a mummy all dusted thousands of years from now. <laughs> it's just, because just, you never, you know, um, Again, five, speak about change. It's time to change, right? It's time to implement new things in, in the practical world here. It's time to plant some seeds, make some efforts, learn some new skills, take some steps, make some plans. Whatever that we need to do to get out of the lack that we seem to be feeling. Again, feeling left out in the cold, financial strife, adversity, illness, unemployment, solitude, see, all of the above, right? Um, but help is available. Like I said, we were talking about how some people might be, how they deal with stuff is by completely shutting down and shutting people out. And maybe that's why they're saying, you know, you do have people that care, even though you feel like nobody cares. I said, you'll know. Sometimes, again, it's just being in your own feelings and your own ego and your own whatever that you, you don't see what you need to see. Um, again, focusing on material loss or losing sight of your spiritual development, karma, money attitudes. Again, self-esteem, self-worth, feeling alone, unwanted. Excluded, ostracized, in need of support and comfort. Page of Pentacles is new beginnings, stable offers, beginnings of awareness and money. Again, maybe getting new ideas to start new things. Maybe making some plans, maybe learning some stuff. Again, taking, taking the steps. Focusing on one's health. You know? 
just said, maybe you put on a few pounds or maybe you haven't been just treating yourself so well because, again, you being in the wall is, 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 is bad for the body. So I said, uh, meditate, be out in nature, find something that you enjoy, something to distract you from these feelings or, you know, seek seek help, seek counsel. I mean, of course, you're here, but, you know, maybe you need more than just coming to the channel. Maybe you need somebody to go talk to a couple times a week. You know what I'm saying? Whatever, whatever works, whatever will help. Um, again, making our thoughts a reality. If we have an idea, put it, put it into motion, right? Desire and focus on the long-term goals. What do we want in the long term? Plans and actions lead to goals. Careful planning. Beginning new projects, ventures, again. Commitment, dedication to yourself. Yeah. Because... And we're feeling like we got blocks going on, haven't planned right, you know, we've had lacks of success in the past, again, so we've lost faith in our talents or abilities. Spirit saying, relax. <laughs> Worry not. Knight of Pentacles, again, slow moving, but in the upright is good because it's thinking about long term, it's trying to be smart in its maneuvers. Um, Work, effort, responsibility. Again, being accountable, being responsible for ourselves. Because again, if you don't make the effort, if you don't take the action, nothing's going to change. Can't keep waiting around for 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 the for the miracle man to show up. The universe will meet you halfway, but you gotta, you know, building foundations again to support one's dreams and goals. Patience. Again, commitment. So when, when we work on ourselves, then we can attract better if you're looking for relationships. You know, two broken halves don't make a whole. And if you're broken, you, you're going to more than likely attract broken, and this will be karmic. Whole people will often attract whole people and deflect those that are not, because you can tell that they're not, and you're not trying to, they said, once you've wasted years with someone, you're not trying to waste a month with anybody else, once again, once you've learned that lesson, <laughs> you know, you hold a little higher standard as far as what you even entertain, you know, um, it's again, needing to be responsible and taking charge, gradual process, gradual Gradual steps. Um, and I forgot to read this. This was the advice. That's all right. We'll read it now. 15. Now, I had asked, because again, this is, I'm like, okay. Um, well, one. One, it's about the, the universe is trying to say, you know, see the signs, see what's already there, see see what's there. Oh, you know, face facts, face truths, face whatever it is you got to face. Don't ignore what the universe is trying to show you here. But it also means that you could be hearing from somebody. You could be receiving a message. So this is, it's... Maybe the person that you don't think cares, cares, and they're going to reach out. Or they're telling you to reach out to people that care about you and not shutting people up. You know, it, it could go either way. It could go always. It just depends. Um, but I think that we're going to see a lot of what I'm talking about now unfolding over the next few weeks and next few months because that's the cards that I keep getting. And then the other one is within a year. So, and I think that that has to do with kind of like the bigger picture. But everything is in divine timing, right? So we hate to hear that shit. We want it now. That's what I say. Essential meanings of the message in a bottle is communication, a sign. Um, a clendon? A cladon? I don't know what this word means. Clayton. Clayton? 
The ancient name for a spontaneous oracle delivered innocently by the speaker, appointing the way to your highest good. So that would be, you know, from spirit. My thing shut off, so I have to rub it. Um, the oracle's message, spirit sends you signs when you ask for them, when you believe you will receive them, and when you allow yourself to become fluent in the language of symbols, oracles, and omens. They may come to you as a bird flying by, a logo on a truck, and a song on the radio. I get the songs all the time. Random songs pop in my head, and, and I know that that's something. Same thing with birds. Look for patterns in nature. You know, when you're in tune, you can see. If you see something that you don't usually see a lot of, and you're seeing it a lot, that's a sign. Look it up. Animal totems, animal messengers, you know. Could be, could be messages for you there. Uh, keep your ears open for someone might say just the right thing that will give you the answer to your query. Today your message is this, spirit hears you and the reply is favorable. Um, relationship messages, you can expect someone to favor you with positive news. This could be in the form of a letter, phone call or email. You are the intended receiver of this message, so stay open to what you learn. Only good will come of it in the end. The signs are all there. So again, some of you might be hearing from someone and again just necessary it could be fam or whatever you know you have to see, you have to see but I, I i try to really not i don't want to get on any kind of tip that leaves people clinging hanging waiting addicted to the because that's where the tarot can become unproductive and, and not good you know live your life do you Focus on you. Heal thyself so that way you will attract better things. Take the practical steps you need in order to make changes in your life. You know, heal relationships that need to be healed. He, you know, and, and be open to whatever may come. And if some blast from the past comes back, again, know what you're dealing with and act accordingly. Or release what you need to release so that something new can come in. Everybody's situation is different. I don't know what's going on, but you should know. And it says, and you'll be in a better position to make these changes or choices once you are clear about yourself. Again, what you want, what you don't want, what you deserve, you know values, morals, standards, holding oneself to them, holding others to them, making peace, whatever we got to make peace with, but approaching things again from a much wiser place so that we can let that shit go. Um, prosperity message, you are on target with your purpose and your passion. You are coming into alignment with your destiny and spirit wants you to know that you're on the right track. So for some people who are making moves or making plans, you know, watch out for the signs. If things seem to be moving, you're on the right track. If there are blocks, maybe we need to reevaluate. Maybe, you know, maybe they're temporary blocks, maybe they're permanent. You got you gotta figure that out. Um, where are we? Uh, Spirit wants to know that you're on the right track. Expect a call, a new opportunity, or a message from an old friend or business contact that will lead you closer to your dreams and greatest desires. Spirit has been listening to you. Protection message. Are you refusing to acknowledge the signs because you want things as you want them? Red flags are not pretty decorations for you to admire. They are warning you for a reason. If something doesn't sit right with you, trouble could be hiding in the bushes. <laughs> the image that just popped in my head was from Halloween, you know, and it did Michael Myers when he's bringing in the bush, hiding behind the bushes. <laughs> and then there's that meme with Jamie Lee Curtis and him in the background that says somewhere you're, you, you got that X that always keeps coming back and it's the freaking Michael Myers. <laughs> so I said, watch out, you know. This is Halloween time, right? Um, as I shared my sidetrack there. Uh, are you refusing to know that something is right? Don't ignore the signs. 
Spirit always has your best interest at heart and will draw your attention to what you are overlooking. And the advice that was for in here, or some more information about in here, we have getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So again, this could be, again, discussions that we need to have with people that we already know, or discussions that might be coming in from, from new people. Um, but, you know, beware of our thoughts of what we're attracting in. Think positive. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully, being in the present moment, not in the past, not in the future, doing something every day to help you become better, right? And once we're putting that positive energy in, we're also putting that positive energy out, and thus we attract better things. Like perhaps some might be attracting this. But again, soulmates don't have to be just romantic, you know. Maybe it's healing, uh, family issues, whatever it is. But for some, this is the tip that we're on. There might be new people coming in. So clean it up. You're giving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. This card cracks me up. Look at his face. He's like, I don't even want to hear nothing this person got to say. I'm just not even caring. And spirits like, come on, just you know, just let it go, man. Just, just look at this person. They're like dying over here. They're like, give me a chance. I'm sorry. And this person's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> but this is, you know. Sometimes, like it says, we want to hang on, but spirit is trying to say, let it go, man. <laughs> just, just let it go. And free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Yes, free, free yourself. Because here we are. Someone from the past is returning. And I guess it could be past life. Some people don't want nobody from the past. Especially if you were dealing with doozies. Maybe that means the person that they took off with didn't want them either. So they're coming back around. They said, know what you're dealing with. But again, for those that are healing and doing the work and are done with the past and done with the narcissists and done with all that stuff, you know, there might be something new coming in for you if you extend your lighthearted energy to others. So this is about, again, keeping it light. Try to keep it light. Too much heavy stuff, chronic heavy stuff long term, sometimes years, we're talking your whole life, whatever it is, your inner child is, is, is in need of love and acceptance and healing and encouragement so that your adult self can step into its greatness. And perhaps it has something to do with something you're meant to do. Career-wise, money-wise, maybe you're going to meet somebody that's going to help with this or that you're going to partner with this or you're going to meet them through this. Um, but either way, they're wanting, again, you to focus on your own development, right? Be the kind of partner you want to attract. You don't want somebody showing up all jacked up with all kinds of stuff, <laughs> Don't put that out there, which means you can't be thinking that way about yourself, right? Like attracts like. See what I'm saying? Now here we have the unhealthy, oh, underlying, no, this is number four, sorry. The people, no. Yes, the people, new ideas or things that can help you. Oh, no, underlying, I'm sorry. Because <laughs> I keep thinking this is number one. This is number one. This is number two. This is number three. Underlying hidden factors you need to be aware of. They don't care. Keep it moving. So for some of you, yes. Especially if you're clinging to arseholes. They don't care. Keep it moving, right? Or this is what you might be thinking. They don't care. I'm going to just 
gave him, I'm just going to leave these people behind. And again, and you might be leaving behind people that actually do care. So again, you need to figure out who cares and who doesn't. And for those that care, invest. And for those who don't, see you later. The universe says that it's trying to bless you, so stop clinging to old shit. Again, especially if it's about healing situations that need to be healed with people that should be in your life long term. Like I said, when I'm talking about the woo-woo, I'm talking more about family stuff, perhaps. Um, holding on to grudges, holding on to things. Because people always say, you know, at the end of the day, when, 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 when you don't have the opportunity anymore, Maybe somebody dies, maybe something. Then you get, then you can get all into that. Then we can get into the whole, the, the kicking oneself in the ass, the regret, because human, we love that shit. We love to be in the shit. If we can look for the shit like flies, you'll go to it. Because for some reason, it's, it's benefiting you somewhere. <laughs> though, though we can't imagine how. But again, because it stems from the low value of self, you know, when we don't feel like we deserve, we're always going to want to stay in the lack mentality, keeping ourselves out in the cold, you know, but the universe is saying, look, let, you know, we, we want to help you out here, but you, but you got to See, see for what it is. Mountains out of molehills. Lighten up. It's not as bad as you think. Like I said, in some situations, you're making mountains out of molehills. Again, you're holding on to, to things that you need to just forgive and let go of. Even though it sucked. Even though it whatever. It's holding you back. Sometimes we blow things out of proportion. We make things harder on ourselves than they need to be. Or we try to move immovable mountains. That instead should be walked over like stepping stones. Um, on the path to our enlightenment, figure out what is the mountain or molehill in your life and lighten your load. Let's say weed it out. Keep hope alive. Except in this situation. Okay? Sorry, but fret not. It's for the best. Live, learn, and let go. Put your focus elsewhere. So again... Things that we need to give up on, we need to just give up, right? On things that we think we need to give up on, maybe maybe we should reevaluate and find a way to make peace with certain people or certain things, and and you know put put in some effort again into those things, or or be willing to be surprised by maybe some situations that seemed hopeless. Things, things can turn around if we shift our perspective. And it says, okay, sirrah, sirrah, whatever will be, will be. So again, you'll be sitting around looking out the window waiting for the mailman. Live your life. Invest in yourself. What comes, comes. What goes, goes. And whatever you can do to encourage good things to come in, Work on yourself, usually that will fall in place. And then, you know, you know what I'm saying. And lastly here, the actions needed to improve your chances for success. I am at peace. Divine peace and harmony surround me and dwell in me. I feel tolerance, compassion, and love for all people, myself included. Like that guy here. Even though you may feel like him. Even though your face may look like his face. Try to be at peace. Have compassion. Everybody's learning. Everybody fucks up. You know. And, 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 and some people who are truly sorry... You have to make peace, and, and you have to because you don't want to have regrets.
I chain. Oh, <laughs> I claim. <laughs> I chain. That's what it looks like. It looks like chain, doesn't it? Well, that's backwards for you. You can't see. I claim my own power, and I lovingly create my own reality. I ask for more understanding so that I may knowingly and lovingly shape my world and experiences. Again, understanding the reason why all things happen. And coming to terms with things and coming to peace with things. Right? And know that we have the ability to create better now that we've learned. And we're willing to let go. Right? That's the advice. I release others to experience whatever is meaningful to them and I am free to create that which is meaningful to me again for some situations that wasn't meant to be that wasn't whatever you know um, but also this is about the understanding that everybody's here on their own journeys everybody's here learning their own lessons so Know that we have to allow people, I don't say allow people to m mess up because they're going to. <laughs> You're never going to find a perfect person, right? Everybody's learning. We hope. Not everybody. Well, I take that back. Some people never learn. And those people, you got to just pray for them. You just keep them moving. But again, You know, if, if if we want to be forgiven for things, we have to be willing to do the same. Right? Just put it out there. That's all that's asked. My life is a mirror. Who say karma's not a bitch? It's a mirror. That's one of the cards I got in there. The people in my life are really mirrors of me. This affords me the opportunity to grow and change. So again. Look at look at your your world around you. What, what is it telling you? He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. This is like the third time that we've gotten this card. So this is the universe trying to encourage you to just to heal. Heal. Have faith that whatever is happening here, this too shall pass as long as we let it pass. Right and and. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you, let not your hearts be troubled. That's what the universe wants you to know, your guides want you to know. To fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you, and I will help you. And on that note, I wish you well. Until next time, take care.